Imagine going into a store and walking out without paying. Sounds like you're committing a robbery. But what if I told you that there's people who actually do this? Not robbing, but couponing. This lady is an extreme couponer, and she saved over $1,000 on her groceries. And with the current economy, I gotta learn how to do this myself. I mean, it can't be that hard. Wait. My mom's an extreme couponer, so I told my mom that I want to learn and do a competition between us where the conversation went a little like this. You don't even like the coupon. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 a.m. 7 a.m.? So here's the rules. Oh. My mom and I both have $10 to save as much money as we can, where the winner keeps the other person's items. I don't even know how to coupon. <sighs> Meanwhile, my mom was just playing chess. Like, she's not even worried about the competition. Great, I lost my position here. So I did what I had to do. Oh, no. I googled how to coupon. Now, I don't know how to explain this, but while I was reading the words, my brain wasn't processing it. So I watched a YouTube video instead. Pretty ironic. But anyway, I learned that the trick is to find an item that's already on sale, then use multiple coupons on top of that. For example, let's say these sticky notes cost $5, but it's on sale for $2. You can use a store coupon for $1 off and a manufacturer coupon for $1 off, which would make the product completely free. The only problem is this stacking method limits you to two coupons. So you're only allowed to use one store and one manufacturer coupon per item. And the other problem, guess that makes it two, is I still don't know where to start. It's one of those things that seems so obvious, but like, I think, I think I got an idea. Are you busy? Yes, a little bit. Where do I start? Or where, where do the viewers, the people watching start? Okay, step one, learn store policies. All stores have different policies. Sometimes they limit like one or two per item. We'll be shopping at Publix. I'm not really familiar with the, the store policies, but I guess I'll just Google it. I like shopping at Publix because they're coupon friendly. You can use one manufacturer and one Publix coupon. They also use competition coupons. You can bring from different stores and they take those coupons. But this is so unfair. Of course, she's gonna know all the policies. Do I actually have to read through all of these? This is like reading the terms and conditions. Step two, find coupons. There's coupons everywhere. Just look around. Mailbox, newspapers, magazine, website. Most of the time, you just need to go to the store. Are you excited? Not really. Wait, not really? So we went to Publix to find coupons where my mom was looking for three things. The weekly ad to see what's on sale, store flyers for store coupons, and newspapers for manufacturer coupons. They don't have today newspapers. In other words, these newspapers don't have coupons. But even though they didn't have the right newspapers, they did have free cookies. It's so awkward asking for a, a free cookie every time to the same lady. But if you smile a little bit bigger each time, she can't say no. Now I'm feeling one step closer. To the next Publix, that is, because we ended up going to another store to get newspapers. But when we opened the newspapers, it turned out that there were no coupons inside. To make matters worse, they didn't have cookies either, but they did have a free sample for oatmeal. It's pretty good. So we left the store feeling pretty discouraged. But despite feeling defeated, my mom had some words of encouragement. So we went to yet another Publix and opened the newspapers to see if they have coupons. So this one looks to be... And they had them! Where my mom ended up buying two newspapers, so I copied her and did the same. Which might have been a mistake, because two newspapers cost $8. That's just as bad as printing paper and saying it's worth $100. But now that we have the newspapers, we can finally go home. Or so I thought, because my mom ended up walking around the store. I walked the store because also in the store they have coupon dispensers. The same item had coupons. Any coupons, whatever you see available, you grab that. That's it? I don't get one? Turns out I just needed to be patient. We get two, so you keep this two. I get to keep it? Yeah. You love the uh, I like chamomile. chamomile. Then we continued walking around Publix, and my mom ended up showing me some pretty good deals. Why are you helping me if it's a competition? Oh. Because you're, um, you're just learning. Well, that's nice of her. I'm going to look for, for, for more deals. Okay, give me a second. Hi, can I have a free cookie, please? Hey, thank you. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know how this works. I don't even see any deals. Hear me out. I know I'm supposed to be looking for deals and coupons right now, but I found pizza goldfish. Oh, there's no coupon, but I can't say no to pizza goldfish. So I bought it. Then we went upstairs. Yes, Publix has an upstairs where we went through all the stuff we got. But first, we're gonna read 
This is why they say to never shop while hungry. But anyway, we looked through all the coupons. Okay, who am I kidding? My mom looked through the coupons and I pretended to know what I was doing. Like I was marking everything on the page because to be honest, I wanted to eat it all. Okay, look at this. Just check in the app. This is free. This is free. Mm -hmm. Just for coming. I'm definitely going to use that. I'm a little concerned because my mom made me pay $8.54 for a newspaper that I probably won't even use. That's taking away from our budget. You know, we have we have a $10 it's budget an each. It's an investment. We only have a dollar 46 cents. Okay, that's good, that's enough. Now, now, what do we do next? Step three, make a plan. We have to cut the coupons, see what's on sale, and we match those coupons. So as you might have guessed, I don't know what I'm doing, but I am going through all the stuff I have and memorizing it. Not sure if this is even the right way to do it, but it probably isn't because my mom was able to cut all her coupons by the time I sort of memorized everything. Why didn't I do that first? Well, anyway, let's get couponing. So I'm basically doing the technique my mom mentioned, which is to cut every coupon. I... I think I cut the barcode. Okay, don't cut them like that. But after we've cut all the coupons, we match them. So if I have multiple coupons for one item, then I probably have a good deal on my hands. More like my mom's hands, because she literally found this. We have this one for $5, the store coupon. And then for the newspaper, we have this three. So we have $8 right here. The good news is I finished cutting and separating every single coupon there was. Or so I thought, because what I didn't realize is there's coupons in the Publix app and online. But of course, my mom already knew that. These are coupons uh, from coupons.com. You can go online, you can see. Not only that, but she also finished her plan for tomorrow and is now organizing her coupons. I use my binder. I put the coupon in each category, like baby items, cleaning items. I prepare my list, the list. You need a list. Write down how many items I need to get, the prices, and how much I'm gonna save. How long does all of this take? At least two hours. <sighs> a lot of work and a lot of work it was you probably didn't realize this but i was going through these coupons for three hours like i spent a full hour searching up the product prices and seeing if it was a good deal which most of them were after after all that searching i have only found four coupons that i'm actually going to use so i had to check what my mom was doing we check so how much we have to pay for that how's the uh, couponing going oh he's going good can i see the coupons sure it's a competition, but you're helping me. Oh. Well, good luck. You're not ready for what I have. <laughs> okay. So it looks like my mom's already finished her plan for tomorrow. Like, I sort of have a plan, but it's more of just... Yeah, I don't have a good plan. Like, I'm not even on the budget. Now, I remember my mom mentioning a technique to make couponing easier. It's kind of like cheating, but it's also not because anyone can do it. I look other people trips. I go to YouTube and I check Publix couponing and you have to put the date. So yeah, I'm searching up other people's couponing trips. And it's crazy because they found deals that I didn't even know. Now I'm hungry. Hungry to keep couponing. <clears throat> that was a little cringe. So I copied the coupon YouTubers by stealing their coupons. But now it's... It's time to organize. I ran out of Ziplocs, so I'm just gonna eat the last chip and then put the coupons inside of this bag. Please don't judge me. Okay, so I just finished making my plan, but I honestly don't even know if this is gonna work. I, 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 this just can't be right. It's getting late. I should probably be getting to bed now. I, I can't even talk anymore. So as promised, I woke up bright and early. Okay, who am I kidding? It's not bright, but it is early. So I made breakfast for my mom and I, but for some reason, I feel a little off. Like, I'm not really sure why we're competing, and it's also just kind of boring doing it alone. But on the bright side, literally, food's ready. I'm a little bit nervous. Why? Because I feel like I'm gonna mess up. If you don't try, you never know. So it's something fun for me to do it with friends, with family members. You just want to team up? I think, well, that's a good idea. So we shared our plans and compared coupons. Well, more like I looked at hers. Maybe is there stuff from my list that you want to use? No, because I have my coupons already, so. I was trying, I thought, I thought we were gonna help each other. And I'm, I'm gonna help you out, but if we don't go to the store, we're not gonna be able to finish. Okay, okay, okay. We get at one shopping cart and I get the other one. Okay, since most coupons are limited to one per person, my mom and I are gonna be shopping as two separate transactions, but we'll still be working together, as in my mom will be helping me. 
But anyway, we basically followed our list and got the items we planned to get. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. And once I finished grabbing everything, you already know what I had to do. All right, so I left my mom because I told her I was gonna go look for a product. I'm going all the way over there. Okay. Wait, please have a free cookie. It was the same lady again. We need to go to customer service because I need to ask some question about this coupon. All right, let's go to customer service. Oh, she went the other way. Sorry, but I don't think you can use those coupons. This is uh, a little tricky. My mom is putting back items as we speak. Um, it's a little scary. Considering the plan is a little different, I'm hoping we can still stay within the $20 budget. I... we'll see. Okay, we're going to check out. So my mom's up first and she's focused on that screen, making sure everything is scanned correctly and making sure the coupons are going through. You know, what the usual mother and daughter does in the 21st century. What? Now, if you couldn't hear from her voice, she's a bit disappointed. Her total was $70 and she paid $14, a little over the budget. Honestly, I think those are insane savings, but who knows, maybe mine are better. Okay, I'm not convincing anyone because when it came to me, I had problem after problem. After the cashier scanned everything, I put my phone number into the machine thingy where my digital coupons should automatically get added, which they did, but the total didn't drop as much as I planned. So I gave him the rest of my coupons and- the coupon So they told me I couldn't use the coupon on this one i had to get another one so i am going to get the coconut flavor then i found out that i couldn't even use one of my coupons one went through but the other one is not going to go through oh okay and several problems later my total was 65 dollars and i paid four dollars that was great is you excited the student passed the teacher I'm excited, so I don't okay. have to queue for anymore. You're in charge now. And if you're wondering how we got a total of $135 worth of items for $18, here's the list of how we did it and maybe you can do something similar. So it looks like my mom and I are gonna continue couponing together. And I know this sounds cheesy, but teamwork really does make the dream work. So yes, couponing is worth it, not just for saving money, but also as a hobby. But this is not financial advice.